Hey guys, welcome back to another viewer feedback show. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. This will be another viewer feedback show. Grape says, your channel is awesome. Really interesting stuff and explained perfectly. I wish launching CubeSat was more available cheaper for you. Can't wait to see more. Thanks, Grape. Appreciate that. Yeah, I wish it was a little cheaper, but uh, there are programs like the Alana program where you can get one launched. 787 Gaming says, do you have the files for the Solidoodle 4? I want to make some for myself. Yep, you sure can. Uh, go to thingiverse.com and you can download, just search the AML cap and you'll find mine right away. I posted all the Learjet files up there that I made. You can download them, print them. It's the same for any 3D printer. They're just STL files. Bobby says, hi Eric, another great show. Had things going on today and couldn't make your live show, but really enjoyed the video version. I'm looking forward to the next one. All the best, Bobby. Thanks, Bobby. Appreciate that. Thanks for all your support. Wish you could have made it, but maybe you'll make it this week. Tony asks, did you buy those pin wires or did you make them by yourself? I buy those on eBay. They're just jumper wires. They're cheaper to buy them than to make them, honestly. You can use solid core wire, some like ethernet cabling and make your own, but I just buy them cheap from China. Bruce says, Eric, can you add an audio only version to your website? I would love to listen to this on my way to work. Thanks, Bruce. Actually, that's a great idea. I didn't know anyone would be looking for a podcast version, but there's no reason we couldn't do these feedback shows as a podcast. I'm just not familiar with how to host it. Uh, I think I'd run out of storage pretty quickly on my website. I don't have a lot of storage space, but uh, I'm definitely going to look into it, and I'll look for some feedback on the live show. Maybe there's some ideas out there. If you have any information, please post it below. I'd, I'd love to accommodate this. Morwick asks, what is the RF software you're using? I use SDR Sharp for all my SDR work. Uh, it's a great, great package with tons of plugins. On top of that, I use the multi-PSK, the free version, and uh, you can use that to decode all different digital and analog signals. Lots of cool stuff in there. Great video. Where exactly was this? That camping trip was uh, not far from my house here in southwestern Ontario, right on the shores of Lake Huron. That was only about maybe seven kilometers from Lake Huron up the river. William asks, hey Eric, for a few weeks I've been trying to find a video about email SMS notifications from an Arduino but can't really find anything. I was wondering if you've ever done anything like this or are you going to? Thanks man, keep up the good videos. Hey William, actually I haven't done that but I will be with the new Wi-Fi modules. I'll be looking into that. Uh, I've done a little bit of poking at it with the electric imp but I'd really like to get the Arduino working on it. And uh, before now, all I had was a, a Cat5, a, a hardwire connection for the Arduino. So once I get the Wi-Fi working, I'll definitely give it a go. Well done, mate. I'm getting 3D educated, especially with hands-on detailed stuff like this. Cheers. Thank you very much. Uh, that video I found out after the fact, <laughs> I sort of realized that my 3D printer has kind of a unique design of a nozzle. So I was hoping that would be useful to other people. Most nozzles aren't designed like that anymore. They're much better. Uh, mine was an early 3D printer, but I'm really glad you find it useful. Bruce says, this is a great project. I'm falling with a desire to do similar. Are you aiming for a balloon flight with this? Hey Bruce, uh, yeah. The idea is I'll probably add telemetry downlink to the balloon. I already have two GPSs sending telemetry down via two different sources. But what I'd like to do is do a radio downlink. Uh, it's entirely dependent on myself finishing out my amateur radio license and just getting around to doing the exam or finding someone else to add to the team who has their license and wants to take part. Without that, I won't incorporate it. There won't be, uh, there won't be these parts, but, uh, I think a lot of it can carry over into the balloon project and I'm really excited to, uh, to combine some of them. Tom says, very nice, Eric. Love the idea. Greetings and happy 2015. Thanks, Tom. I really appreciate that. And a personal thank you for helping me with the Meteor satellite decoding. For those of you watching this, Tom uh, has a great YouTube channel. I, I urge you to check it out. He, uh, he does all kinds of things with STR and SAT decoding and SAT receiving, and he personally took the time to help me when I was having trouble with the Meteor M2 Russian weather satellite early on. Uh, pointed out the error in my ways, and uh, it was uh, all fun after that. 
Thanks, Tom. Can we have a video on the antenna you used, please? Absolutely. Uh, it's the Comet Disc Cone and the, uh, the QFH antennas, and I'll post the link in the details here to this video if uh, anyone needs them, both of which super capable antennas. I've had nothing but great luck with them. Bry says, I hooked up my new Sencor scope to a TV one time, forgot to use the isolation transformer, and boom, I thought I had blown up my $3,200 scope, but lucky me, it just blew a fuse. Hey Bry, that's why I posted this video. Isolation transformers are something that a lot of people miss the obvious on, and maybe not so obvious. Uh, when people make the transition from moving from small microcontroller work and scoping DC circuits to home appliances, the potential for disaster there is huge. Personal injury and equipment damage. If you're going to be probing AC circuits uh, like TVs, appliances, stuff like that, got to have an isolation transformer. I'm super glad that all yours was was a fuse and uh, it's a live and learn. We've all been through it. Thankfully, I learned before I did equipment damage yet and uh, I'm really glad you enjoyed the video. Hi Eric, how does the Comet DS150S perform? I just bought an SDR. Hey Kieran, that antenna is my go-to antenna when I'm not doing weather sat passes. Uh, everything else is done through that Comet disc cone. The thing has just been perfect for SDR. Simply love it, can't go wrong for the price of them. That's it for today, guys. Really glad you could join me. Uh, if you don't mind, if you enjoy these videos, please consider a thumbs up down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. And any feedback you guys have, questions, comments, information, please post it down below or on the other videos. Really enjoy my time with you guys. Thanks for watching.